we all love American police. They're a bit mental. Um, but you can see why they're a bit mental when you watch some of the videos. So I just thought I'd make a quick video. Um, watch this and let's see how they deal with this suspect. And we will discuss. Pulled over. He ran straight away. Moron. What are you doing? Run in. Commando jump in. See, the problem is when you run away. When you run away from the police. See, I've never done it myself. Uh, oh no, I did once. I ran away from the police. I'd run away from uh, an old children's home that I was staying in. And I'd run away from it. Didn't like it. And uh, they put a missing thing out for me. And I ran and the police chief caught me in about two seconds. I was not very fast. But the thing is, when you run away from police, even it's the same with when people try to get away in cars from police. Not so much motorbikes. Well, yeah, I suppose in a sense, scrambles and stuff around a state. But when you run away from the police or you drive away from the police, in your brain, you don't know where you're going. You see, they have a, they have a, a target. They're chasing you. So they have a target. But you, when you're running away, and you, especially if you don't know where you are, you haven't got an option. You don't know where you're going. So you end up losing yourself in this you don't know where you're, you've not got a, a designated place to go so you always lose yourself um so that's why most people do get caught same with cars when you take off in a car from the police you don't know where you're actually going you're just trying to get away and it's a hard thing to do because they have a target you don't have a target you're trying to get away um so yeah let's see where it goes They don't like it when they put the guns up when he's running that away from you. He's running away, he's not looking at you. You can't just say I'll See I don't know about that me. You see That doesn't work for me, that shooting someone when they're running away from you. I don't like it. Now I don't know if did anybody see a gun there? I didn't see a gun, but you might have had. A, I don't know, but I just don't. I don't like it when you shoot somebody in the back while they're running away. That in England, in the UK, people, criminals do still have guns. I don't know where people get this uh, uh, fantasy that people in the UK don't have guns. Okay, it's not as prevalent. In the as in the US, but people in the UK criminals still do have guns, usually gangs, but they still do have them. But even then, they just wouldn't immediately shoot somebody for running away when they're running away. They just wouldn't do it. Um, it's a different world though in America. They they know what they're doing but I me that just looks totally wrong that they've just shot someone in the back while he was running he looked like he was tripping over as well um but let's see how it goes hey we got a vehicle it's gonna be a black bmw it's gonna be leaving hurry up up with you hi so we can get your are they gonna give him any medical attention you just shot him twice or three times you get him yeah okay. i got him Put your hands behind your back. That's for the plate with 147. All right, I see what they're doing. Well, they should tell him to put his arms to his sides. No, put his arms to his sides. You should get him lay out like an angel.
So did they actually get him? Have they got him? Did they actually shoot him? Hey, I'm gonna recover the farm just because no, it's no, the no. So there, there was a firearm then. But it wasn't. Did he part? I didn't see him pointing it at him. Did he just drop it? Oh, sorry. See, this is what I don't understand about America's justice system as well, which is very complicated. Some, let's, some random person. Oh, he's gone in here. Oh no, he's got a faint pulse and breathing. Imagine the medical bills on that. That's going to cost him that as well if he survives. That's him broke for the rest of his life. But I didn't see him point a gun at anybody though. He was, his back was facing and he was running. He nearly tripped and then three shots were fired. I don't understand where the gun was. But they were obviously closer to him and could see it. That's the thing with the American justice system, isn't it? Though it's like, um, let's say, for instance, he 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 dies. So he's been given the death penalty there. So what crime did he commit to receive the death penalty? Probably stole a car, running away. What's that? I don't know what that's called in America. Um, obstruction maybe maybe that's what it's called he's running away so if he dies he's been given the death penalty been shot in the back three times but yet you get criminals that let's say for instance shoot, shoot for school or commit horrible murders serial killers they get arrested then they get put in a cell they get put on death row and then they'll serve 10 years on death row before it's judged that they need to be killed so they get to live out this mega long life um before they get and they have to go through a court system which might prove them guilty or innocent or they might not even get death um on the death penalty they might not even get the death penalty but then you get young people who are basically morons uh who do stupid stuff but yet they get basically get the death penalty given to them by the cops there's no judgment system in between there's no law there's no what's the word criminal justice system in between it's just immediate death penalty and that's always like the, that's the thing about cops being having the right to shoot people was always like got me in my brain as to why because they have a two tier they have like a weird system in america where you can be shoplifting and you run out the store and you you i don't know do something odd that the cop deems odd you i don't know a mobile phone i've seen ones with people with mobile phone and then they're shot dead and all they've done is rob something from a the store. They've not committed an actual major crime. It's just robbing something and then they're dead. But yet you'll get serial killers that get arrested, put on death row for 15 years, and that's some kind of justice. I, I, I just thought it's a weird system where in this country, if you get caught, shot, caught shoplifting, you know you're never going to be shot dead. You know. Um we do have police with 
firearms in this country but they are trained to the nines you know i think our police officers who use firearms are probably trained better than the army are to be honest with you they really are they the chances of a british copper pulling out his gun because i think they they used to have mp5s i don't know what they have now they might i don't know what they have now um but the chances of them pulling an actual the trigger and killing someone is so rare so rare british cops are so good at talking people down it's unbelievable i mean when they get you they will give you a good kicking but you know do you want to kick in or do you want to be do you want to be dead you know that's you you know you got the choice there not saying american cops are wor better or worse than british cops i'm just saying there's two different worlds and it's hard for a brit to understand how these because american coppers have to deal with this every day you know and i know they have the second amendment and whatnot and i understand that um so normal citizens carry guns i say i understand the second amendment i understand the second amendment i.e i understand it but i don't do i agree with it Nah, yeah, because I, I don't i don't the americans uh, for being the most powerful country in the world americans are being paranoid as shit they really are paranoid they keep they, they'll say to um they'll read the second amendment to you and they say it's to stop government tyranny <laughs> that doesn't even make any did you see what happened on July the, January the 6th? <laughs> Look at the uproar about that. Wasn't that just some people trying to, uh, you know, stop the tyranny? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, decent video. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, listen to my nonsense. It's just an opinion and it's just me talking about the differences I see. But I will uh, see you in the next one. Love you and leave you.